Hi again, everybody. So it's 725 on Father's Day, and we're about to go out, do something. I just wasn't in the mood. Reason being, it's 725 on Father's Day. And guess who didn't get a call? I figured it was coming when um, Enormous started in the comments thread. Narcissists are always going to try one last Hail Mary and they don't care who they take down with them. You see, the thing my ex-wife never takes into consideration is the long term here of the, the entire gravity of the, the situation. Now, I've been talking to Aaron a couple times a week, or at least once a week, since all that shit went down with the house. And I backed off with the understanding. But it's been since August. I've been waiting to get, like, pictures of Aaron, something of Aaron. Nothing. It's always, I'm working on it, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. She has me still blocked on her cell phone. I can only get a hold of her through, through the house number. Well, here's the deal. I still haven't signed off on everything on that house, not, not even by a long shot. And I'm not going to. Not going to. Meet Normus wants this mess, you can have it. Not gonna scream and yell. Not gonna get as upset as I am and as devastated as I am right now. I knew it. Like I knew it was coming. And that's why he did it. He probably did it so I'd make the video and be like, you see, even though there's nothing, <laughs> nothing untrue, but he has this way of controlling people. So have at it. The sad thing is Things have been going very well with this. Very, very well. I have just about dug out at all my other bullshit. To the point now I can focus back up on New Jersey. Why am I going to sign off on a house that was supposed to have my name off it six years ago? after you tried to sign it out from under me through forgery. And then on Father's Day, see, this is, this is the narcissist Hail Mary, and this is how desperate it is. They know they, I have this, they know I have their signatures. They know I caught them red-handed. But that narcissistic injury in this channel bothers him so much. So much. Because there's no way my ex-wife did this on. This is all with her being controlled by him. It's just the way it is. She's just not mentally strong enough to make a decision on her own. She never has been. And I'm not saying that to bash her. That's just the way it is. This channel is not going anywhere. I'm not going to stop talking about this shit no matter how much it makes you cry me. So, Aaron didn't call me on Father's Day. I've gone, you know, I've gone almost a year without talking to her at times. It hurts because I thought we were at a place and Charlene was warning me, like, it's coming. And when he did it right then, I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, she's going to try to fuck something up on Father's Day. I know it. 
I know it. I'm right. I was right. I take no pleasure in being right on this one, but I, I knew it was coming. And what will happen is when that paperwork has to come through, then I'll get a call. Oh, hey, um, not this time. Not this time. My only priority now is to catch back up on the child support since I was out of work for four years and it was very difficult trying to pay $700 a month when you have no income. But all that's been, will be, or is in the process of being straightened out very, very quickly. And that's because everybody here and everybody who contributes and wants to see the channel grow. So, I mean, I obviously have all you to thank for that. Even though, you know, you're just a bunch of, you're just a bunch of people complaining about your problems on the internet. I guess we all are. But if that's all we are, then why does it bother them so much? Riddle me that. There's always going to be one, one more last-ditch effort. But the last-ditch effort is never the last-ditch effort until they die. But they get more and more desperate. This, this flies against everything that's in there, that all of their better interests. All of them. And does that mean I'm going to let my daughter be homeless? Mm-mm. No, 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 no. No. More people who want to talk to me. No, I mean, at this point, it's going to be, I got to do what I got to do. I'm not exactly sure what the best course of action here at this point is. I pretty much think I'm just going to go forward to what I was planning on doing anyway. And that is to have enough to be able to sustain myself, you know, through all this, through the ads, through, through you guys supporting, you know, to have a place here and then to have a place in New Jersey to rent. And then be able to go back and forth. Still the goal. Not giving up on seeing my kid. Not giving up on having a relationship with her and getting her through this. I can't. But I can't let her think that this type of behavior is okay. It's not her fault. And she's 13, so not a little girl anymore but not completely um, naive to everything that's going on either. This isn't what you do to your father. And this is why we never get over this shit, because these people never stop. They never stop. I didn't force him to go in and make those comments. He did that on his own. So now he doesn't like the response and he thinks he's gonna he's gonna torture me for the day. Okay. Yeah, it hurts real bad. <laughs> real bad. short-lived because the long-term consequences 
they're going to be what they're going to be. But I'm done. I'm done helping on that house. I'm done. Any cooperation is over. My fucking name was supposed to be off of it six years ago. It's going to stay off. Probably shouldn't have taken care of it six years ago after the divorce. Not let it go to foreclosure. For six years. House was underwater when we went through the divorce anyway, so. But I would never let my daughter be homeless. And I'm basically going to be in a very good position in a few months. Not even. Maybe even a few weeks. It's just not going to be an issue anymore. At least I hope. I wonder what goes through our head when this stuff happens. I mean, they've really done a number on her. But I'm sure they showered her with gifts like they always do, so. Short-lived victory, whatever. But I'm not going to take it, so. Even if I get a call now, after 8 o'clock, it's only going to be because I left a message saying that I'm done with the house. And I was calm, wasn't screaming or anything. But I'm, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm done with being treated like a jerk off. Okay? still acting like she doesn't have a cell phone or a webcam or I could see her or get a picture of her or a text message or or whatever. The narcissist Hail Mary will will ultimately take everybody out because they could give a fuck about everybody anybody but themselves. All they wanted was that little bit of, of, of cheap supply denying me my own daughter on Father's Day. Doesn't change anything, me. You're still the same lying, manipulative, cruel, closeted homosexual you've always been. And that's just the way it is. You come from bad people, me. Shit, I come from bad people, but that doesn't mean you can't, you, you couldn't have overcome it. You just didn't want to. So you can post whatever you want. Ollie Matthews is really Matthew Schuster. I really don't care. You can make up whatever false narrative you want about what went on in the marriage or the house or what your role has been since 2008. I don't give a shit. I give a shit about Aaron. The game has already been over. That's the thing. You're still out there shooting baskets after the trophy's been given out. Have at it. Have at it. So, Aaron, I love you very much. And I wanted things to be different down here. I wanted this all to be different, but it just... The people you're around just won't let it happen. And it doesn't help you, sweetheart, to learn from bad people. And I'm not saying your mom is bad. Your mom is just confused. 
and she's had her own issues to have to deal with. I feel bad for her. I wish I could have done more. Your mom went through the same type of nonsense that I did. Not to the same extent. But that's why she has no confidence and everybody walks all over her. So, I'm not mad at you, sweetheart. I'm just very, very hurt. But, can't say that I'm all that surprised either. So, thank you everybody watching. To every father who can't be with his kid or talk to his kid. Sorry. I understand. Feel your pain. And I wish I could tell you it was going to get better for you. I wish I had a magic bullet. But that's not reality. All you can do is keep telling your story. And moving forward. And making decisions what's best for you in your life and your recovery. And if that means having to sacrifice and back off, then that's what you're going to have to do because it's nearly impossible to win these type of battles anyway. I mean, we hear stories of them, but they're pretty rare. So, say, I don't even want to say a prayer, but if that's what you do, say a prayer. Keep in your thoughts every father, and even, I'm not even going to say mother because it's Father's Day. Every father just can't, can't talk to their kid on Father's Day. Who hasn't seen their kid, doesn't have the relationship they want because of outside narcissistic influence. It's our day too. Just doesn't feel like it. Zonnie Matthews, thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye.